Alright, welcome back. I got some cool stuff to show you today. Um, we're going to talk about color themes. So you can see that um, in C64 OS, various user interface elements have uh, colors. Cyan menu bar with a gray, um, gray highlight, some disabled things in yellow, um, we have a border color, a background, uh, we have a panel here, and these are different colors, and so on. So the idea is that the system has a uh, color palette for the various user interface elements. So in the palette, there are um, 20 configurable user interface elements, and you get to choose the color that you want for uh, each one of those elements. Now, the system for, from almost the very beginning, um, the system has had a settings file that gets loaded by um, the booter um, to configure those colors. Uh, the settings file is human editable so that I can, or anybody really, can open it in a text editor and um, make manual changes to the file, save the file, reboot, and boom, you get your new colors. However, I'd always intended for there to be um, a way within C64 OS to be able to manage those colors. So I've created that. Um, it is a utility which I'm calling themes. So let's just go ahead and open that. Okay, so here we have this utility called open called themes. Um, so we have um, this bottom section here with um, some buttons and controls and then we have this middle section here. So let's just start with the buttons. So this button is um, a theme selector. So we have, there are two built-in themes plus a custom theme. So the this theme that you're seeing right here um, I call daylight. Um, the, the other built-in theme I'm calling Midnight, which is kind of a dark theme because those are in vogue these days. Um, and, uh, and then you also have a custom one. This is a label here that tells you um, which element, which of the 20 user interface elements you're editing. And then this is a selector for what color you want that element to be. Now this section here it is a mini representation, sort of a graphical visual representation of the whole screen and includes all the various um, user interface elements that can have their color customized. So let's just uh, walk through these. So this outer box here is representative of the screen's border, so there's the border. And when we click on it, okay it was already selected, so border, and then it tells us light blue. Um, I'm just going to walk through some of the other um, some of the other elements. So if we click anywhere on this sort of white backgroundy area, um, it says, "Okay, we've selected the background and it's white." Um, then we have, say, this uh, this thing here. So it says panel bar. Okay, so it's medium gray. Click here, have panel. Um, within the panel. We have um, this, it's a button, so that's kind of a, a, an ordinary button. Or we also have the default button, that's what would be triggered with, say, the return key in a form. Um, we also have, uh, say, the menu bar, so we can click the menu bar, we get cyan. Then you have the rolled over or selected menu item, dark gray. Um, we have the scroll bars. So we'll click on, so scroll bars have a foreground and a background color. So foreground is these controls plus the nub, that's light blue. Click on the background, okay, that's black. Um, we have tabs, so we have the tab that's in focus, this is purple. We have uh, the non-focus tabs, say blue. And we have text. So let's say um, we have our ordinary text. This is a display text. This is set to dark gray. We also have bold, okay, black, or emphatic, which is it's kind of another form of bold. Could be used for a link in a web browser, for example. Um, that's blue. Then we have selections, okay. So selected text, 
um, but not just text, could be selections of any kind. Let's say we have light green. So just as an example of this light green, um, in the um, app launcher itself, when we select an alias, it uh, highlights in light green. So it's getting this light green color from the fact that the theme has light green for selected. When we drag selections, this, this selection box is, is uh, light green. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cycle this um, uh, theme, the selected theme button. Okay, so midnight, isn't that cool? Now the only weird thing about um, this is a limitation of the Vic too is that in order to show a black background within this window, I actually have to set the Vic's background color to black. And that does actually cause black to appear in the rest of the app. But that's the only, uh, that's the only one. So let's just go to custom for a second here. So we can see that I've, I've modified some of these colors. So I will uh, click on the menu bar, selected menu bar. Now I have uh, my cycle buttons for um, colors. So as I click through these colors, I can customize the appearance of the menu bar. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, now let's uh, say pick this text. So I'll, I'll pick uh, any of this text in here, display text. And as I change the color of the text, it, you see it's changing all of the text in here because this text in here, this text in here, they're all using the same, the same uh, color. dark gray, I think I had to. So let's say um, tabs. Um, click on this shown tab. We want it to be, what do we want? The, the focus tab to be, um, yeah, light red, say. And then we'll say our other tabs. We want them to be, say, dark red. So we get a bit of a, a highlight change. So now what I'm going to do is um, just close themes and watch what happens to the menu bar. Boom. As soon as I close themes, um, my selected colors get, um, okay, green is still uh, the selection color. So I will open um, about C64 OS. And we see there's tabs down here. So they've now taken on this light red, red. Um, this is a bold, the bold color showing us, this is uh, showing us where, um, in memory, the kernel modules are installed. So let's uh, open themes again. And this time we'll, um, this time we'll go back to the daylight theme. So now the, the, the custom theme has still got its settings there, but we'll, we'll just flick over to the daylights uh, theme. Save this. Okay, now all of a sudden we're back to these menus. And when we open about Z64 OS, there you go. Now we've got, uh, you know, these tabs take that, take those colors. And the bold is now in black. So now for a radical change, let's go to um, themes, and we'll switch the theme to midnight. Okay, very cool. Close that. There you go. And now. Now we're in, now we're in our midnight color scheme. So let us open um, about C64 OS now. Okay, this is very cool, right? Selections are changed colors, red. Right? So selections are red in uh, this this theme. And uh, let's open uh, say our D and D roller just for fun. Okay, so default button's uh, yellow in this case. So we'll, we'll pop back over to themes. Change back to our uh, daylight theme. Pop open the D&D &D roller. There you go. Isn't that cool?
Thanks for watching.